We went out in October and November. I think we were on strike for 73 days. It was uh, weather like this pretty much the entire time. So it was pretty hard. Um, but our biggest demand and the biggest change we wanted to see was to get tuition indexation. At that point, I was a PhD student in FES and I was a Unit 1 member. And we, I mean, really, it was a completely crazy idea, tuition indexation, um, that we could link wages to tuition so that when tuition went up, wages went up and it would just keep going. So that essentially, since that time, we have had what you know they're now offering, which is a tuition freeze. But we haven't only frozen tuition, your wages have also gone up. Um, at the time, the relationship between, I mean, and it's happening now too, the relationship between the executive and the rank and file members, pretty tense. Bargaining team, rank and file members, pretty tense. But they really do need our support. And I'll get to how we can support them in a specific way in a minute. But let me tell you first what it meant when we got tuition indexation. So think about doing this for 73 days in a spot there was nothing across the street. It was a wasteland. Across the street is what? Vaughn? Across Fields Avenue? Nothing there. We were totally isolated. Nobody had <laughs> cell phones or I think we had a walkie-talkie. Um, we knew bargaining was going on. We knew things were getting pretty close. And we knew that tuition and indexation was hard to win. But what we did in order to win it was we, we had GMMs every week general membership meetings every week and we all went after Friday picketing and we were smelly and stinky and hungry and we went to a hotel ballroom and we had a general membership meeting. On Monday, the membership requested that and the exec is trying to weasel out of it. So that's one of the things you need to tell them. You need a meeting every week. At one of these meetings, one of the members of the bargaining team, Clarice, she stood up and she said, if you want tuition indexation, you have to bind my hands at the bargaining table. And what she meant was, you have to tell me that you will stay out here forever until they give this to you. And it was kind of funny for her to say, bind your hands at the bargaining table. There were lots of jokes, but we did it. The general membership said, we will stay out forever unless you give us this. And we got it. And when we got it, I was on the line and somebody drove up in a truck and said, we won. And we were like, what? Because we've been out for so long, we could not think of doing anything but walking in circle. And they said, we won. We got a contract, and it has tuition indexation. And then we just exploded, and somebody went to the LCBO, and we drank champagne on the picket line, and we took the lines down. And frankly, it was one of the proudest moments of my life. Thank you. And you're so welcome. And, it's, and I, I think I still work here. I don't know why, but one of the reasons is because I see you people and I know that your tuition is protected and that you're going to get something that approaches a fair wage. And that makes me really happy and really proud. So, demand GMMs. Support your bargaining team and executive in telling them that you will not stop until you keep tuition indexation. And when there is a GMM, bind the hands of the bargaining committee. Be firm, be strong, you can do this, we've done it before. You are beautiful, wonderful, smart people. You can do it.